Hey everybody, it's your girl Zai, and today I wanted to make an announcement. So yesterday, while I was driving home from my dorm, I uh, made a, a little friend the other day, and I know my hair is a mess. I normally don't do these little vlogs or stuff or whatever, but I felt it was kind of important, especially due to what's going to be happening literally in the next day after this is uploaded or even later on today the same day this is uploaded probably will be tomorrow but as i said i'm a little friend i did put this in my uh crew server my uh dis my main discord server for my studio i put up a little thing for na some name suggestions for my little friend and uh we kind of went well kind of went with Koo due to the fact uh, that, uh, well, I guess the person who helped me, uh, is helping me the, a, a huge bunch with his channel and everything else. But a lot of people also suge suggested Toodles or Toodles or something along those lines, which I'm like, okay, I, I kind of like both. So maybe one could be the first name, the other one can be a middle name or whatever else. But I guess as you could tell by the name, yeah. Uh, as you can see right there, there's my little friend. Can't see him too well, but there he is right there. Say hi, Koo. Koo is, a uh, very shy. And he really wants out of this, out of his little container. So... Um, as I said, I was, when I was driving on the, my way home, I found Koo. He was trying to cross, uh, he was trying to cross a very heavy road, four-laned, one-traffic road. No cars were really stopping or trying to slow down to make sure they didn't run over him or anything. So, I noticed him when he was, I was in about the middle lane or so. And so, I noticed him crossing, and I was like, oh, oh my gosh. And so I just... So I pulled off literally to the side, the parking lot, is, uh, the closest parking lot, which was really not that far, literally just moments away from where he was. Like two or so cars were already dr driving past him, not really slowing. And he was already almost on the other side of the street. Like he was in the next lane over. So this other car was the, the uh, they stopped in time and everything else or slowed down enough to not hit him and everything else. And I... Yeah, they stopped enough because I got so close and everything. And I picked him up, brought him to the other side, made sure he was okay, saw how he walked and everything. Then I picked him up again and I brought him home. Uh, don't know what kind of turtle he exactly is. But anyone in the comments you may know, you're more than free to put it to put it down in the comment section. I'm not going to pick him up or anything else. He's... Uh, He's pretty angry at me. He's a, he's a bit of hissy. That's because I've been picking him up a little bit when it can't when it comes to moving him around. For example, like putting him into the tub so he can have some water and other little things like that. He's not really used to people or doesn't and doesn't really want to be around them. So, as much as I do really would love to keep Koo as my friend and a pet for life, it's just not his best interest. He's completely stressed out not happy at all to be around me or with me or anybody else so what i'm going to do for his best interest even though he'd make i think he'd make a great pack member it his best interest would probably be to to be released back into a nice calm pond or little lake where he can be free and find someone to love of his own species and everything else so there's not one too far away from the house. But as it is getting too close towards the later hours, I'm probably going to have to do it tomorrow morning before classes. And yeah, where I did find him, there was a water source and everything else where he could have gone. But it was like near a drain kind of system. And it was pretty deep. And I didn't want him to go down there and just have the water take him. And just, I just didn't think that'd be the best case scenario for him. He would probably prefer to be at a at some of like a calm lake or something along those lines. So 
I did what I, I'm going to do what I feel like is best for his safety, and that is to take him to that little compound, as I mentioned before. Ku tended to somewhat settle down last night eventually with the lights off. He tended to remain quiet in his shell, at least for the most part, as I could tell. I was clunked out. When I woke up in the morning, he was pretty decent. Uh, I picked him up. Again, he stayed in water most of the time. He was pretty chill. Did take him out once or twice when he actually used the bathroom, at least I think he did. He's, a, he's typically a sweet boy. At least he seems to be. At least when you're not picking him up or doing anything else. He's not really active when people are around or looking at him, which I, I obviously am. So he's just pretty much in the same spot. His head is further out now, but other than that, he hasn't moved an inch. <sighs> he is a wild turtle. I think he is probably full grown for whatever species he is. Because he's clearly accustomed to being wild and would prefer that than to be in a nice, safe place like my home. Where he'd be fed and everything else. So. As hard as it's going to be. As I have said, at least I believe I've said in prior videos. I'm not going to keep an animal that is clearly unhappy or uncomfortable or stressed out and everything else like that because to me if it came to me over the animal it's going to be the animal first every time and Ku's safety and happiness and everything else comes way before mine and his happiness would be out there in the wild over being with me so yeah but one day I can assure you we will probably have a permanent pack member hopefully that day will be coming soon But, yeah, other than that, that has pretty much been what, uh, the most recent crazy of news. Um, I guess keep up with the channel, keep up with the channel. I will be doing a, um, a celebration video for the 75 plus subscribers that we have, that we hit. I really do appreciate that, guys, because without, without you guys, I really wouldn't be here I know I mostly do this channel, the channel and everything just in a sense it's a fun thing just to do and as well as spread ideas and whatever and I know I don't do much. I need to do better. But I really do appreciate those of you who actually like watching my content and me absolutely failing at playing games. I plan to do so much more, do different things on the channel, talk about actual real life issues and so much more but for right now those are kind of being kept in the back burner because well I feel like if I were to do those now I that I don't think that's just the best time to and as well as I'm not trying to you know lose anybody obviously or anything else but at this point in time with how the world is, I may do something, try to do something like, may do some singing contests or something with my friends and the rest of the crew. Who the heck knows? But keep a lookout. There will be more content coming when, don't know, but very soon, I promise you. Now I should be doing some more regular videos than live streams, hopefully. It's just that a lot of the games that I have are for the PlayStation and when it comes to the PlayStation, it's easier to live stream than actually try to make it into a video to post. But yes, I think again, thank you all so much for your support. And I will be videoing, uh, I, will, I will be videoing this guy's release. I, I will be videoing it. So we will all be able to say goodbye to Koo or Toodle or whatever you would like to call him. I did get in a sense attached to him but it is for the sense better for him to be where he is the most happy and most comfortable. And therefore in a sense I'm not giving him a complete title even though I kind of have. 
But as there's so many names, you could probably go by any of them. I guess that's in a sense a good thing. Yeah, he is a cute, he is typically a cutie. He's a fighter too. Anyway, I think that's all for us here to, in this little short video. I'm trying to make a series. If you guys would like to join in and help out, then please um, write a comment, write me a comment or uh, write, write a comment or go to my, or join my crew discord and we'll be happy to interview you and things like, and things like that. We would love to have new pack members join. We would love to have more people join us. If you know how to, if you know how to do, if, if you've worked with Bedrock or, or Pocket Edition or Java if you have any experience with that, or if you know how to do some animation, or any, know how to make skins, know how to do editing, if you know how to do basically anything that comes towards videos, or if you just have some crazy ideas, we would love to have you. We want to hear from you. We have our own ideas and we're slowly putting them into into the into works. But we also would like to hear from you guys, our audience, our viewers, our dedicated pack members. We want, we would love to hear from you and everything else. And you don't mind, but yeah. And with all that said, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much, just again, really appreciate it. And if you really would like, please share the content. Share our content out with any of your friends who you think might just enjoy someone just goofing around and to just make someone's day feel better because <laughs> they think they may be bad at a game. Just show my content. <laughs> and they'll see just how bad, how bad I am. Uh, and heck, that might even just make them laugh and make them feel a little bit better. Uh, thank you, guys. Don't forget to like, hit that like button. Smash subscribe. And ring that notification bell if you want to remain notified. All right. And, we'll, and I will see you all at the next performance. Bye.